live on the scene. Peyton, are you seeing that there? Because from our overhead view, looks like nothing's moving. Uh, why is that? I know it does appear that nothing is moving. In fact, if I take a look all the way down, but again, there's that camera glare. So I'm just going to tell you guys, it almost looks like it is at a standstill because it is moving so incredibly slow. But you can actually see right behind me, there is some movement. Again, it's just very slow moving. But, you know, I'm going to take a step out so you guys can actually see the tow trucks here. You can see right there, that's the semi that was involved. You know, OSP told us that there was the semi, which you can see right there, that it was was involved in a crash with an SUV that was around 140 this morning that was near the Western Row exit now you guys can see that the 71 North those lanes are open and only one lane here on the 71 South is open but what I can confirm to you about this crash is that the Warren County Warren County excuse me coroner confirmed that it is a fatal crash one person is dead what we do know is that the semi driver the semi driver was transported to a nearby hospital for minor injuries now I know since the last time that you guys got a look at this, you were able to see the inside of that SUV. It's still here on the 71 southbound lane. It is just behind this truck. In fact, right now, these tow trucks, they appear to be moving, which that might be helping out with traffic here soon. But what I can tell you is that when it came to this crash, it was fiery. If you were able to see with me earlier, in fact, that truck's moving out of the way, so you might be able to get a look at this SUV. But inside the SUV, you can see that it is burned and melted interior, as is the front of the car. The rear of the car seems to be the only part that wasn't impacted. And you can even tell with the semi that the front end of both vehicles really are where that damage exists. Now you're getting a look as those tow trucks are clearing this. You know, we might be able to see a little bit more of that traffic movement. ODOT trucks are here. OSP cruisers have been helping to block off and to help with this traffic. But again, you are now seeing those tow trucks actively leave here. So we might be, I know, Stefano, you were saying that it seems almost at a standstill. In the next couple of minutes, you might be able to see a little bit more movement when it comes to this traffic. But something else I want people to be mindful of is just off the exits and off the back roads. Uh, that's what we were driving coming in here, right? And it was also bumper to bumper, very slow moving traffic. So just something to keep in mind for the drivers this morning. For now, though, I'm going to send it back to you in studio.